What's up everyone, Skibbity Bebop, and we're back for another one, and on today's episode, we got a fight on our hands with Russian Fishing 4. <laughs> We suggest that you become familiar with the basic mechanics of the game. Are you ready for the tutorial? <clears throat> Why, yes. Okay. Approach the bank and stand on the bridge. Use WSAD to move. During the dark hours, you can use a flashlight. F. No flashlight during the day. Okay. Well, that's fine. I don't really need it. Okay. Okie dokie. Okay, so this spot is perfect for fishing. Now let's choose a rod and set up a float rig with a flex line. This first up, my belt backpack. Okay. All right. Rods. Here is a three dimensional image of the rod, its description parameters, and a list of components indicating their state, including the components of selected rig. Symbol attack on selected rig installing the necessary components. The set of components depends on the rod type, rig type. Some of the rig components are marked as optional. You can install them at your own direction. Change the rig type, click with L and B, the button change, and install or replace a rig component by clicking L. Okay. The rig component by clicking L and B. Okay. Let's parameters by clicking L and B. Realist components and evaluate their condition. Click with L and B, the button component's condition analysis. Proceed as you guys make a website. No, we are not need to do all that. Okay, so we're going to put some line on this guy. Regular or Balognese floats. The Bob original. Using a leader ability is required. Okay, that's an error. I don't know. Express fishing, stinger, or I only get two. Oh, I see. So it's legit. You're going to get. We're gonna throw a worm in. It's the morning time. They're gonna be hungry. Okay, so discard, disassemble, pick up. Um, is that good, or do I just like back? Out? Oh yeah, that does pick up. Okay, so the tackle is almost ready for fishing. Set one meter depth. That will help the bait to get closer to the bottom. To set the float depth, use the keys plus and minus. Okay, guys, I am not a fisherman at all, so I don't know really what any of this stuff means. So this is like a learning experience on more than one level. So I wonder if this would the tackle is almost ready for fishing. Set one year down to the Oh, I see it's on centimeters, so we need to go up. What's is it? Yeah, as I say, it's like a hundred is one, right? We need to go back to one. Go back. Let's see, you can pretty quick this way. Okay. Tackle's ready for casting. Try cast again. Consider the wind speed and direction. Aim at the center of the glowing circle. This is where the area of the float must go. Cast the line by pressing L and B. The longer you hold L and B, the more force is applied. Control the casting force by using. <laughs> where was the... Oh, there. Oh, my bad. All right, so... What do I do to get this out of here? Holding the only way to get me. Oh, I see. Go ahead with your bad self. Congratulations, you have caught a fish and earned some experience. Place the fish into the keep net by clicking keep button all over the bay. Aha, that's what I'm doing wrong. Okay, so we are preparing to move another water body. First, put the rod back into the backpack. You can only put the backspace key. Oh, perfect. Okay, now let's go to the mosquito lane. Trying to say catch market. Okay, move to the other location of the control panel by clicking the escape key. Right here. Mosquito Lake. Travel. Okay. 
Well, that's cool. I think this game looks pretty neat, guys. I think it's actually, it's an interesting fishing mechanic. It's not like fishing like I'm used to, like it's uh, a different kind of fishing. Typically, there's a cast and then reel, uh, but this is a different kind of fishing that I'm not familiar with. Um, I'm not a fisherman or a, uh, I've like hardly fished a few times in my life and I've caught like maybe two fish in my entire life, but um, Some of that. But this is pretty neat. So I sold the fish. It was a good fish. And it earned me. It earned me. A, buy in tackle store and buy worms. Click W A S T. Tackle store. This is a tackle store? Grocery store. Administration. This is like a restaurant here. Workshop. Wow, you can do that from the distance. Tackle store. Go to the baits. And worm on the pop up list. Purchase worms by clicking the button. Leech. Leech. Net crawler's way to go. See, regular ass worms right there. Okay. Wow, that's some crazy baitage. Okay, so I don't know. We have fulfilled all the tasks. Keep trying, keep striving. Start exploring the world of Russian fishing yourself. You can learn more about control functions in the quick help window. So I can just go fish anywhere, right? I'm pretty sure I can. Alright, so... <clears throat> We're going to take off and go see what we can find. This part's pretty cool. I kind of like how you have to like go find a good fishing spot. That that I can get down with. Like this is cool. I've done this before. <laughs> Running on trails by lakes and stuff is my thing. Hey, look, is that a guy over there fishing? No, not at all. Can I get on this boat, dude? Dude, let me on that boat. Like, let me move it. Okay. <clears throat> what do we got here? Campground action. There's a Jeep. Is that my Jeep? What is. Whose tent? Starting a fire. Let's catch a fish. Can I just hit backspace again? No, that'd be sick. Not happening. Oh yeah, let's go. Uh. Mm. 
Oh yeah, baby, let's go. Gotcha. So, we can use a boat. Oh, baby. Get in the boat, buy a ticket for the boat in the boat station. Where's the boat station? Do I have money? Negative. Okay, so we got a map. This is the boat place right here. I'm sure of it. <laughs> Alright, tickets or boat rental are sold at the boat station. Okay, so one day boat rental. Let's go with the one day. Just see how we like it. we got here let's see what do we got is this guy gonna be a fighter got us a fighter hard to see to pull out oh he's putting up a pretty good fight got us a fighter here folks oh oh small potatoes
<clears throat> what we got here? Let's get some. Come on, fishy. Let's do it. Oh, we got a big one, boys. Holy moly. What is this? Whoa. Whoa. Don't break my line. What? Oh, my gosh. What? Holy moly, this has got to be a big one. Ho, ho, what is going on here? Holy, this guy is ripping on this line. Oh, yeah, we got some action here, guys. Oh, 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 oh. Did I, did he lose him? Oh, lost him. Dang, that thing was a beast. Let's go. Let's get that guy again. Get him back on the line. Let's go. Whoo, that guy was a monster. What was that? Um, plays straightforward and a lot of fun. I, I'm really having a good time with this. I probably am definitely going to keep this in my uh, my library as a go-to for whenever I just need to do something that's super relaxing because it is super chill. It's really laid back. You kind of got to be super patient. Um, f for me, it's something that I'm going to have to do it on the weekends because I don't have a lot of time during the week. Um, but... If you're into fishing and that's your thing, I mean, I could see a lot of people putting a lot of time on something like this whenever they don't have the ability to go out. What I really want to do is I want to catch a fish that's like really big. These guys are catching 500, 700, 600, 700. Uh, grams. I want to catch one of those or one of the 1 kilograms or 1.5 kilograms. That's what I really want to do. I know I'm not that high enough level yet. I'm only level 3. And my bait and everything, my tackle is all kind of on the lower end of the spectrum. But we're going to keep playing it out a little bit and we'll see what we can do here in the future. What's the biggest fish that you guys have caught in this game? Um, check the game out and see what, how big the fish can you catch. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Smash the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Oh yeah, Skibbity Bebop. Out. <laughs>